Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've made a video, and that is because I accidentally deleted iMovie off of this computer. So by the time you're watching this, it'll probably be um, like one I've already gotten back and re downloaded iMovie because I threw, I was trying to clean up my computer and I put it in the trash and I threw everything away. But I've missed making videos so much, and so I was like, I'll just make one now. So I have another video from the Philippines that I made. Uh, maybe I might make another video, who knows. So I'm gonna just do a video of the books that I've read so far while I've been here. So starting with the first book that I finished, Faking 19 by Allison Noel. This book is 8.95 paperback and is about this thick. I told you guys that I might, fin in my last video, my last two, my, not the last video, but the video before that, I said that I might finish it in America before I leave, but it turns out that I finished it on the plane ride. So this is Faking 19 by Alison Noel, 3 out of 5 stars. I didn't enjoy this book very much, like I didn't enjoy it enough to remember really what happened. Um, oh, it's about a girl who lies to this guy about her age and then it kind of falls apart. It. It wasn't a very good book. I would not recommend it to my friends or you guys. But I love some of her other books, Alison Noel, but not that one was not a favorite. But then I read, also on the plane, My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This book is $17.99 hardcover and is about this thick. It recently came out. That's right, it's still in hardcover. But this book was amazing. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. This knocked my socks off. I loved it. It, it's a very cute love story, but then there's also more to it, which I love, so. Sorry. Okay, and then after that, I reread Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholt. This book is $9.99 paperback and is about this thick. And I will always love this book. Five out of five again. Um, I reread this for the fourth time now, I think. Fourth, third or fourth? I think it's fourth. And then I reread re this for the first time. This is Anna and the French Kiss. $9.99 paperback and is about this thick and I will still again always love this book. I think I'm gonna have to add My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick to my favorites because before you guys if you've seen my videos always know that these two books are my absolute favorites. I'm gonna have to add this to the pile because it's fantastic. And then I read, reread Fallen by Lauren Kate. This is $17.99 hardcover and is about this thick, but I do know they have it in paperback now. Uh, 5 out of 5 stars for this. Torment, reread this by Lauren Kate. $17.99 hardcover and is about this thick. Another 5 out of 5 stars. Passion, I read this for the first time. $17.99 by Lauren Kate and is about this thick. That's the third one. 5 out of 5 stars. And Rapture. Last one. Fourth one. Again by Lauren Kate. $17.99 hardcover. 5 out of 5 stars. I would have to say the first book and the last book are my favorites. Um, I love how she wrapped up the book. I think she did a fantastic job. I don't want to spoil it for any of you guys, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, so. And then, oh, right now I'm reading Fallen in Love by Lauren Tate, and this is $15.99 hardcover, um, and is about this thick, but it was 559 pesos at the National Bookstore. Alright, and before I let you go, I have two more things to share with you. These are books that I have bought um, since I last showed you the books that I got here. Um, I have Elixir by Hilary Duff, and this one is, does not have a price, so I don't know what to tell you, but this is in paperback, and I was a huge Hilary Duff fan when I was little, so I don't know why I got this book just now, because she I think she finished the whole... I think there are three books, or I don't remember, but I think she finished that. But, um, yes, I got Elixir. Uh, and then The Selection by Kira Cass, and this one is 349 pesos um, Filipino money, but then dollars, I see through it, it's 9.99. So, yes, excited. But I have to let you go because I have to go get ready because I'm about to leave. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.